this week on my channel I'm going to help you guys start school because this week is kind of heading towards February and in New Zealand February is kind of the month where everyone starts like late January early February is when everyone's kind of getting into that zone to get back into school so I thought I would beat all of the get back to school videos and start with a few things that I'm using to get back to school. First things first, if, especially if you're starting high school, my biggest tip to you is on the first day to bring a refill pad. I don't, my refill pad's all the way over there, but I've got this. It's a campus notebook from Typo with lots of kind of space just for me to draw. That is my biggest tip to give to you for the first week of school or for the first few days because especially with high school they can give you a stationery list but some teachers might prefer you get this stationery, that stationery. Okay so this is my school bag here. Um, it's I've got a Jansport bag. One thing I like about this bag is that it fits everything I need for school in it including things like PE gear which sometimes people have to take in an extra bag purely because they don't have enough space but I can fit it all in here. I've kind of customised mine. I moved the Jansport label. There um, I have some badges from my intermediate school. Green Day badge, Sublime badge and there's a Beatles badge as well. They're all kind of just hanging out there. In my school bag I have my pencil case and my pencil case I chose this one because it's long enough to put a ruler in and I never have a ruler and I, it's also got two zips so in the first zip there's kind of what you need is a pencil or pen, a blue pen and a red pen. I really, I write in blue personally and in the second bit there's kind of glue sticks and highlighters. I have highlighters because I find them really easy just to you know, if I have a homework task, I can highlight it. The normal pencils. I have less black pens. I've got more blue pens. And I've got a ruler from Smiggle in there as well. Um, bear in mind, this is just what I'm taking for the first day of school when you see what's in my school bag. In my school bag, I'm just taking this. This year, I've decided that I'm going to use this instead of separate books because last year they just got really heavy because I staple the like second part of the book to the back so it just got really heavy and ridiculous so I just bought some of these. Um, I do have a one whatever. I do have one of them just in case a teacher goes no 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 you're not allowed to use it but I wouldn't suggest doing that until your second year. In my school bag in here I have a hairbrush. It's just a small one kind of palm sized because I didn't really want to carry a massive one school. I just want to carry this little one. I have some Kinesio tape that's just just in there just in case. Some other things that I will be putting in here is spare hair ties, spare hair clips, things like that um, that are just in there. It's like there's have a good look in here. Um, there's little clips that I've just put there just in case because I've got this and it kind of sometimes gets my way and I also carry around lip gloss because I get one burned quite easily so I need it around me. Other things I have in my school bag is I have my water bottle and I have a small thing of spray deodorant. The reason I choose spray deodorant especially when I'm taking it to school is because I have those friends that will, that will ask to use it and it's gross if they're using your roll on deodorant. I find that really disgusting personally. But yes, that's what I will carry in my school bag. As I go through I will add, I will show you what I will take every day once I get into my schedule, know exactly what subjects I'm doing etc etc and I'll show you some study hints that I have. But I have a few tips right now that I can give to you if you are starting year 9 this year. My first tip is to try and stay with people in your class, especially at my school, you've got safety in numbers. If there's one of you that shows up late to class because you get lost, you're more likely to get into trouble because there's only one of you, whereas if there's five of you, the teacher's just going to be like, fine, sit down. 
also if you have lunch and then a class try and leave lunch like five minutes early so you have time to go and find that class and then two periods and you don't know where the second class is go and look for it during your lunch time I know it sounds boring but what are you really gonna be doing at lunch time there you're just gonna be talking with your friends walk and talk you can do it I believe in you but um, you can do that that helped us a lot we kind of made sure that someone knew where whereabouts the classes and we talked about it and we like all knew where we were going also stick with someone try and find someone that's got the same class as you next another thing I would say to you if you are going to high school is stick to the rules don't be stupid they give detentions because you're being dumb if you know you're going to be late for school set an alarm I'm sure you have a cell phone or a computer where you can set an alarm or if you are really scared about being late on the first day pretend that you need to be 10 minutes early because if you're 10 minutes early no one's going to tell you off for being early um, or, the, or you're just going to have to stand around if you are having some trouble and you go to the same school as me and you're having some trouble please message me I will be glad to help you. I know stationery is a bum at my school and the website is confusing. Especially if you're year 9 and you don't have things like a student ID or you know what subjects you're taking. I will help you because I was there and I hope that you would help someone next time. Do not test the school rules. Don't, don't try. If you have any questions, go and see a teacher. Don't just wear ear or whatever earrings because you don't know what the rules are. They're just going to not care. They're just going to be like, stuff it, you're going to get detention anyway. So please ask. Don't test it. Thanks for watching.